Hello everybody and uh, welcome to today's episode. Um, we were at the Wagon Works just in uh, Chesterfield. I have been here before but me being me, I actually lost my phone at a job that I was working on so I've had to come back and redo it. We came here, what, a couple of, well it was more than, what, six months ago at least. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd come back and literally just do a revisit. Um, I know how it looked before but you don't so I'm just going to do a revisit, like I say show you how it looks and hopefully you like it. Today we're with the uh, Exploring with Ems as uh, normal. Say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've already introduced you. <laughs> ah right okay. <laughs> Let's go then. As you can see, it's about the same sort of uh, disrepair as what the um, brickworks was. I keep seeing this graffiti all over the place. Uh, we believe he's quite well known. Um, last time we came here, he was actually doing some work and. We asked him a couple of questions, but he wasn't very talkative, which you can understand. Uh, but uh, the artwork, I quite like it. This place is full of graffiti, to be honest. It's, uh, but there is some nice graffiti, and it's not very often I say that, to be honest. Let's uh, have a look in here. Also, last time we came, there was some kids that had turned this into a skate park, which is actually a good idea, I thought. Why leave it abandoned like this when you can turn it into something decent? They weren't causing any trouble, they were just turning it into a couple of ramps and uh, having a bit of a skate around. We've still got the, uh, the pipe working here for the materials or the water. Oh, I'm definitely not as fit as I used to be. Wow. Yeah, if you go and check over Exploring with M's channel, um, you'll actually see what it used to look like if there's anything different. So you'll be able to see what it was like when we first came to what it's like now. And just there is where the skaters were doing their thing, shall we call it? Yeah, that, is. that was part of it. That was part of it. Going to the next area now. If you remember rightly, there were some stillages for what they used to hold the wheels in. I wonder if they're still here. Whoop, fell over there. Remember, it's always a good idea to come to these places in at least two people, so then if you do have an accident, there's always somebody that you can always call upon to call for emergency assistance. Especially in these sort of places, you never know what might happen. Or if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and do it by yourself, but at least let somebody know where you are. Oh, there we go. There's 
the, uh, the ties that would have tied everything together, just heaped up in a bundle. Uh, I've still got across those two edges yet. I'm not even going to attempt to try and get to the back of there because uh, last time we went back there I'm sure that one of them actually slipped and injured ourselves. But there is something there, let's have a look at what that is. It's probably something of nothing. Oh. Yeah, that's part of the stillage is where they've hold it, where for transport you'd have put your wheels like on top of them ready for transport like I say this was a carriage work so they would have uh, come in on those ready for assembly let's fight our way through here again I'm going to go and show you the best bit of this place, but I think it's the best bit. It's an outbuilding. Um, if you go around that way, it's a bit of a path that leads to basically nowhere. Uh, there's a big mound of rubbish, which I'm sure you don't want to see, so I'm not going to bother taking you there. But yeah. Graffiti artists come here quite a lot as you can see. But if they don't come to these sort of places and do it, they'll just do it in places that really miff people off. So is it better that they come to these places and do it or is it better that they do it on the streets and do it? Let me know below, you tell me what you think. Got another little outbuilding here which is hidden behind the trees. This is here for anybody to come and visit. It's not closed off. Anybody, in, members of public, uh, explorers, urbexers, whoever you are, you, if you want to come to this place and just have a look, you're more than welcome to because it is open for anyone to come and have a look at, which is lovely. It's most places that you go to are normally closed off or got security. It's the best bit. There we go. This is, I think this is the office buildings. have a quick run round here because it's starting to get a bit dark now Again, my gimbal seems to have a mind of its own when I'm uh, walking around. It's uh, wanting to lock onto things and I'm not even pressing any buttons. We've got the stairs going down. So, I wasn't dangling there before. Now, either somebody got really bored and smashed a hole in the wall, or it's a bloody big mouse. You tell me. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the building. Um, we have got a new toy, uh, we've got a drone to play with. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of footage into it for you. 
um, and show you the actual area of view of this place it might actually give you a rough idea of how big this place is um, oh I forgot to go downstairs didn't I oh I better show you downstairs very quickly I'll show you downstairs there we go oh there's a tree falling through the building so yeah let's go and see what Em's doing I think she's playing with a new toy to be honest Yeah, there we are. Where is it? There you go. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, there's not a great lot more to show you. Um, we came here today because it was a revisit for me. Like I say, I lost my phone, I lost the footage, so I thought I'd come and share this place with you. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a lovely little walk. Um, there's a lot of dog walkers that come here as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Um, I, if I've got any history on this place, I'll put it in the description below, as I normally do. Um, yeah, that's top and bottom of it, I, hope, I think. So yeah, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. All the best. Bye-bye.